Hi everyone and children, today we are going to make something from best from waste. So this tape, you can see this tape no, here, I used from a double sided tape actually. So this is what you get when you take out the double sided tape from the tape itself. So you can just see this, this is what I am going to use. So I have just cut down few pieces from the same. So of particular size, a fixed size I have taken and I have cut many pieces of this sort. So this is something unique and uh, usually everybody do this with papers and all. You can also do with papers but why to use when you can use from something from best from waste, okay. So let's start how to make a flower out of this, okay. Only by using these strips we are going to make a beautiful flower. So let's start with it, how to do. So what you have to do is just you have to tilt it like this and hold. You can use a cello tape or a stapler to stick. So I'm going to take cello tape and I'll just stick this. So you can see this, this is how you will get. Or even you can just staple this thing, okay. So this is how you will just get the shapes. So we need a lot for this. So let me punch few more. So same technique is there if you are using for any other paper also. Even you can do the same thing with quilling strips also you get of perfect size outside market like in market also. So you can just go and buy that and you can even do with this. But always try to do something new with best from waste only. Use, reuse, recycle is the thing you should always remember and start doing something unique with those. So hold it properly then just punch. So I think I got a lot of pieces here. So I'll just hold it together. First I'll take two. And I'm just keep, I'll just keep adding. So if you feel that this uh, will like too much of uh, staplers we are using, you can just take the help of the cello tape also. So I'm just I'll just keep adding the cello tape here from one side to the other side. So still you have to do this carefully. You can see this it is coming out. So. What you do is just hold here, just see this technique, this is important how you are going to stick from both the sides, okay. Now you can see, no, this is holding it, so this way you can. So here is another one. So usually we do this for the birthday wishes card when we stick on a gift box. The same technique we I'm using here just to stick both. But that is not enough. It will just, you have to even add one more cello tape inside it. So that from here also from one side of this and till this side. And wherever you feel necessary, you can just keep adding the cello tape in between. So I'll just keep this roll it and stick it. And just stick. Stick first, roll it and then again you can see the roll here. Make sure it keeps coming out. So just be careful when you are sticking. Yes. So I got a set of, uh, I use six petals here. Now I can call it as a petal also because I am done with this. So now I will just make one more set here. Yes, 
the last one I am just using cello tape here. There is a lot of difference when you are using cello tape and a stapler see. So this is I have done with cello tape and only for the first one I used a stapler but this is the look. Now what you will do is hold these two together like this and here now you can punch with the stapler. Yes. Okay. If you think it is coming out, the cello tape is coming out, you can just do like this. Yes. Yes, I hope I am done. So, you can just see I am ready with the flower here. So, you can just hang it somewhere in the house. Whenever parties are there, you can use different colors and you can just hang this anywhere in your house. So, it, it will look as a good backdrop also and for your parties, birthday parties or any other parties also. So, just make it and have fun. Thank you.